Nash said, no, that's not going to happen. Nash Kyrie Irving. Irving. The Grinch. <laughs> yeah. Kyrie Irving meeting with the media. kind of got away from you guys from that point forward. <clears throat> uh, guy named Dame Lillard. <laughs> And then also uh, some of their other guys that were making some big plays when we were putting two on the ball, uh, again some good open looks, and just making some some reads off of us double teaming, and uh, we just weren't in the right spot tonight uh, a few times. So you know it made us pay. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Harry, when you're looking at this long road trip that's coming up, in your mind it will be a successful road trip. Is it just wins and losses? Or as you guys are looking to continue to kind of build, uh, what what in your mind would create a successful road trip? Uh, just continuing to find consistency uh, throughout, you know, kind of what we're, go we're gearing up for uh, towards the end of the season. Really just thinking about staying healthy and doing all, everything we can to come out on the winning side. You know, obviously that, that won't come easy being on the road. We've been tested a few times this year, uh, but I, I think this road trip means a little bit more because it is towards the end of the season and, and uh, you know, we just want to play well and, and we want to do the right thing. So just excited to continue to build. Um, you know, while we kiss our families goodbye for the next 11 days and, and we just have fun um, just being tighter as a group. Thank Greg you. Logan with Newsday. Okay, since we don't get to talk to you tomorrow, I, I want to follow up on the road trip thing. Uh, will, will the Milwaukee two-game series be good preparation and maybe the whole road trip be good preparation for the playoffs, uh, especially since... Uh, you know, you'll you'll have more guys available uh, to play most of those nights. Yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Uh, I, it's probably the only uh, time we'll we'll have a, a chance to see a team twice. Um, you know, right? Is that right? Uh, so, is it, if anybody it could be one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference alongside us, then you know that, that's a competitor's dream. So we look forward to it. Know that they've been playing well. Um, so just looking forward to going in there. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kai, how much emphasis are you guys as a team putting on the number one seed at this point? Or can you really not even answer that until after these two Bucks games? <laughs> uh, we're just having fun, man. We're enjoying the journey. And, you know, wherever we, we land, uh, I think uh, we'll, we'll be proud. You know, so it, like I said, the circumstance of the season uh, to still be number one seed or still be fluctuating between one and two, it's a blessing, man. You know, all the injuries that have been happening and just surprises that come up. Uh, you know, we just want to stay resilient as a group and, uh, you know, just get prepared for what's coming in, in the next few weeks. You know, that's the exciting part. You know, playing in, in, in these different environments on the road, that's exciting as well. But uh, just getting tighter as a group throughout some of these games where we'll learn a lot is what I'm looking forward to. Rachel Nichols, ESPN. Hey, Kai. Um, some of the other basketball players who have uh, observed Ramadan have said that they appreciate the way it sort of narrows their focus. It makes them appreciate other things in their lives and things that they can apply to the game of basketball. Have you experienced any of those things? And if so, how? Uh, well, the journeys that we have individually um, and as a community is between God and Allah. So... I just like to keep it that way, you know. Appreciate you asking the question, Rachel. And shout out to all my brothers and sisters observing and, and um, doing what they're supposed to be doing during this, this Ramadan. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So I'll switch gears and ask you a little bit about being on the road with your team. Uh, you guys are still pretty limited NBA-wide on what you can do. Steve Nash has joked about previous road trips that he'd like to get you all like bowling or to dinner or something. Um, is there anything that you guys can do on this road trip with that goal that you just said of kind of just being more together as a team? Uh, well, the centralized focus when you're on the road or, or you're, you know, in, in the middle of the season is, is staying committed to the game and, um, you know, staying committed to your teammates. So anytime that we can get a chance to just find some downtime, uh, to hang out, we do. But other than that, we're just <laughs> maintaining our balance uh, by by doing things on the road that, that help us prepare for the games to come. They're coming so quick. So, yeah. you know, you hang out for four hours, then you got to go to sleep and you got to get COVID tested and then you got to wake up and do it all over again. So it's been quite a journey. Um, it hasn't been like some of the other road trips that I've been 